With the right loadout, the UGM-8 is one of the best long-range options in Warzone, especially in Titanium Trials, which is what I'm playing in the background. Its long-range time to kill is miles ahead of the popular KGM-40. Using the correct attachments will reduce your recoil to practically nothing, and the large mag will allow you to take out teams without having to reload, which is perfect for Titanium Trials where the enemies have more health. So let's get into the best way to build it. Make sure to stay until the end because after I finish with the attachments, there are a few things that you'll need to know before trying the loadout yourself. Let's start with the MX Silencer, which needs no explanation. I'm using the Bernard XL214 736mm barrel for the best recoil control and extra bullet velocity. PC players should use the 3-6x scope, while console players should use the G16 2.5x scope. Mercier WT Anchor Stock will help with both initial and sustained firing recoil and recoil while crouched or prone. While you're here, please hit the like and subscribe buttons as I'm a competitive Warzone player that's new to YouTube and I only make videos to help you improve at the game. The Strife Angled Underbarrel will help with our horizontal recoil control. The Bipod is also a great underbarrel option as its crouch and prone recoil will stack with our stocks. Make sure to attach the 6.5mm Sakura 125 round box mag since it provides a large magazine with the addition of extra recoil control. Lengthened of course as our ammunition. Hatched grip will give us the best combination of horizontal and vertical recoil control. Tight grip will stack sustained recoil control with our stocks, and on hand will help our ADS time. Since we built this for sustained recoil control, it won't kick in until after 4 shots. So during those first few shots, you'll have to pull your aim down just slightly. But after that, the recoil is extremely easy to control. Also, while using the 6x scope, your screen will shake quite a bit. Don't worry though, because it's just an illusion as your actual recoil will not be affected. I recommend that you try to ignore the shake and only focus on the reticle and the enemy. And because the UGM-8 is an LMG, its movement speeds are super slow along with its reload time. Take this into account as you'll probably have to play less aggressive compared to if you were using an AR. Have a good one.